Hey! So I wanted to quickly go over um, Glorious Primer and put it to the test using an orange peel. I don't know if you've seen these photos around, so I just figured, you know what, people sometimes think things are Photoshopped, they're touched up, whatever, maybe they are, maybe they're not, who knows? But we'll find out when I try the little Glorious Primer trick on the orange. So what I'm gonna use is, yes, just a regular good old orange and Glorious Primer. So the Glorious Primer is, it gets your skin ready for any makeup application by priming it, enhancing it. It'll leave your face looking velvety soft. It's so smooth, it, cre it creates the most perfect, perfect, perfect base to apply makeup. So it'll help fill in any fine lines, pores, anything like that. And uh, then when your makeup goes on, literally, Flawless. So let's put this baby to the test. Okay, now that the primer's been sitting on the orange peel for five to 10 minutes, I'm going to apply the Touch Liquid Foundation on the top part and on the bottom part, the Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. These two products recently came out, and let me tell you. Oh my God! I love them. I never wore foundation because it made my skin just feel like, ugh, like it couldn't breathe. This stuff goes on, you won't even realize that you're wearing makeup. It's, yeah, that amazing. Okay, here we go. Okay, so remember this side has primer, top and bottom, this side, no primer. First up, the liquid foundation. All right, so we're gonna let it dry for a few minutes and then I will show you the results. I put the same amount on each side and I don't know if you noticed, but a little bit goes a long ways. I can tell you one thing though, when you're trying to put foundation, whether it's cream foundation, powder, um, liquid foundation, whatever it is, or the concealer, when you're trying to put that on skin that has no primarity on it, it's kind of like if you have pores or any fine lines, you're almost, in a sense of kind of packing the makeup on there to try to fill it in. Whereas when, if you prime first, it literally makes your skin just flawless and it glides right over it. So you can use even less product if you use a primer. All right, check this out. The left side has the Glorious Primer added first and then the right side does not. As you can see, and I put the same amount on each side, the left side is way more smooth and you don't notice the little holes or bumps which on your face would be pores and fine lines. Like on the right side, holy orange peel. So let me zoom in. I mean, look at the difference. And you actually have to add more makeup to the side without primer to try to fill it in than you do the side with primer. Crazy. Primer side, no primer side. So basically, in order to try and get it like this side, you're gonna have to cake your face with makeup. And honestly, the only cake I like on my face is real cake that I can eat, mmm, preferably chocolate. But anyway, look at this, way more smooth. Glorious primer, I love you, you're amazing. You can also use this, just a little FYI, in your hair to tame your flyaways and stuff, clearly, I'm not taming anything today. I got home from the gym and uh, haven't brushed it and haven't showered, so I need to go do that. But yes, this is what Glorious Primer does. The little orange, that photo thingy majig that's going around, it's real, ladies. It works. I took my own photo. I will post it in the comments, but it's for real. Bye.